Good afternoon, Kristen. Yes, I know I'm late. It's been a busy morning, but it's been a good morning. It's also National Mule Day, not nearly as fun as National Punk Day. So what are mules known for? Stubbornness and kicking. And when the bank is kicking you, you need to be stubborn. Our short sale down in Casa Grande, we had it on the market for $85,000. And we got an offer for just below that, I think it was $83,000. We submitted it to the bank. The bank said no, we want $90,000, $10,000 promissory note and a $5,000 cash contribution. We talked to the buyer. The buyer was willing to come up to $87,000, but we told them no on the cash contribution and the promissory note. So they countered back a couple weeks later and said $90,000. I think it was a $7,000 promissory note and a $2,000 cash contribution. Again, we told them no. The buyer said we are willing to come up to $90,000, but that's it. We want to get this deal closed. So we submitted it to the bank one more time, and one more time the bank came back and said, $90,000 is good. We'll waive the promissory note. We just want a $2,000 cash contribution. Actually, it was $3,000 cash contribution. So we told them that the lawyers for the seller, have advised them to just allow this to go to foreclosure, they're not to come in with any money, that in Arizona they're protected with no deficiency rights in this situation. We told that to the bank, and wouldn't you know, they approved the offer, $90,000, no cash contribution, no promissory note, and they sent it to us today. So, on these short sales, when you hear no, if you have a good deal and you know it's a good deal, Remember, that no that you're hearing from them is K-N-O-W. They need to know more so they can make the right decision. And Kristen, we'll see you tomorrow.